On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to turn a thousand rand all the way to 19,000 rand. I'm also going to be showing you screenshots of the trades and how the money got into my South African bank account. So if you guys are interested in the breakdown of the video, make sure that you watch until the end because the video is going to be filled with a lot of value. But let's not waste time and get into the video. Hey what's up traders welcome to Traders Room South Africa if it is your first time on the channel welcome to the best trading channel in South Africa if it's not your first time here welcome back to the channel guys we just hit 30 no we actually just hit 50,000 subscribers and that is a very huge accomplishment you know I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon for 50k where I might be actually giving you guys money so that you guys can be able to fund your trading accounts but other than that i really appreciate it but you guys can see the title of today's video so as you guys can see by the title of the video i'm going to be making a simple breakdown of the trades that we took at the beginning of the month uh, i funded the account with a thousand rand and i was able to flip it all the way to nineteen thousand rand so i'm gonna pop the screenshots up here and throughout the video, I'm also going to be doing a breakdown. So the breakdown of these profits is also linked to the strategy that I taught you in the previous video. So if you guys haven't seen the previous video, make sure that you guys go watch it. So I used US 30 and that strategy that I taught you in the last video to actually make these profits. Before we get into the rest of the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the broker that I am trading with, which is Mugen Market. So We've been trading with Mugen Markets for a month now. And honestly speaking, these results wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't trading with Mugen Markets. Mugen Markets is an offshore broker that offers some of the best spreads in the game. It gives the fastest withdrawals. Honestly speaking, their customer service is excellent, right? So they are currently running a 100% deposit bonus on all deposits. And I was able to take advantage of these profits that are on the screens. Uh, by claiming my 100% deposit. So guys, make sure that you click the link in the description to trade with the broker that I'm trading with. The link will be in the description, but let's actually get into the breakdown. All right, traders. So before I actually hop onto the charts, I actually want to bring something up. So in the previous video, someone commented and they actually wanted us to show more profits so that they can actually believe the strategy we are teaching. So one thing that I really shy away from on this channel is showing you guys monetary results because I really want you guys to focus on the skill, right? So that's what this channel is about. And I know that you guys are motivated by um, results and actual money, you know, whenever we're showing these strategies, but it's something that I wanted to bring up on the channel. And currently right now, just to show you that the strategies actually do work, I'm currently holding trades on my phone right now all right guys so i do have my phone right over here i don't know if you guys can actually see the profits if you can't see let me actually do screen recording and sorry if my phone is cracked guys uh but anyways right now we are currently if you hold home us 30 trades you know and this is something i did want to show you and yeah guys we are holding us 30 trades if you see right over here we are currently running profits of 11,600 rand and I don't know if it's going to continue up, but hopefully we close at 15K for the day, you know. So this account started at uh, 1,500 Rand. We blew the first amount and then we funded again with another 1.2. And this is what we're currently holding. And yeah, shout out to the broker that I am using. But, you know, these are some of the things I wanted to give you clarity on. You know, guys, I don't want to be showing too many profits. I'm not the type to flaunt profits. And that's just one thing I wanted to give you clarity on. All right, traders. So those are the profits that I'm currently holding right now. I hope you guys are inspired by that. But anyways, let's get into the main topic of the video of how I pushed that 1,000 Rand to 19,000 Rand at the beginning of the month. All right, traders. So we are currently on the US 30 chart and we will be starting the strategy off of the one hour time frame. All right. So these entries that I did take that I am breaking down were based off of the continuation strategy that I did upload in the previous video and we will be starting on the one hour time frame all right so I did take these trades on the 30th of June you know basically on the Friday so the first step that I did take in order to catch these trades 
I applied the first rule of the strategy, which is to basically look for the trend in which the market is trading within, right? So on the one hour time frame, we did identify that this market was trading in an uptrend, right? So as you guys can see, we had a higher high that was formed on the market right over there, followed by a lower high, you know? And then we had another higher high over here, and we had another higher low, all right? So basically the market was trending up and we knew that we had to buy this market because we are trying to catch a continuation of this uptrend, okay? So then I did go down to the 30 minute time frame since we did figure out the first step, which is to look for the uptrend. And on the second step, which is on the 30 minute time frame, I identified in which phase the market is trading in, right? Like I did teach in the previous lesson, the market trades in two different phases, you know, which is the impulsive phase, corrective phase, and another impulsive phase, all right? So usually your correction phase is basically your correction and where you find your continuation patterns, right? So on the 30 minute time frame, I basically identified that we had a strong upward movement on this market and then we had a correction phase right over here. Market was correcting itself and then we had a bullish movement, right? Let me turn this red so you guys can see this clearly. And I'm just going to delete this trend line since we do know that we are moving in an uptrend, right? So as you guys can see, this market was moving in the impulsive phase and then we had a correction and all we needed to do was catch this impulsive move, right? And this is where we caught our entries and this is where we made our money. So let me just move this to the side so you guys can just see this. Clearly, as you guys can see, here's an impulsive move, here's a correction move and here's an impulsive move, you know? So basically, what I had identified is that this market was moving in in a corrective phase right over here, right? And this is simply a continuation pattern, all right? And you don't want to trade within this continuation pattern because it is risky. So basically, I went down to my 15 minute time frame because this is US 30, you need to go down to your lower time frame so you can catch entries that won't stop you out because this is a very volatile market. So since I did know that we had an upward movement and we had a correction and we needed to move into, you know, the third phase, which is an impulsive move. Basically, what I wanted to do was to identify impulsive moves to the upside, right? So the first thing that I did identify right over here is basically these candlesticks, right? I'm just going to go to the 30 minute time frame. And I'm just going to show you these candlesticks that I did identify, right? So here we had a beautiful, you know, morning star candlestick pattern. We had this down candle followed by the small candle and a beautiful, you know, upward candle which created a morning star. I don't know if you guys can see it, but then here is your morning star pattern, right? Um, I think I did make a, a lesson on candlestick patterns and if you guys did watch that lesson you will identify this as your morning star pattern and that basically gave me the signal and the go ahead that all right this market needs to start moving up from here onwards okay all right guys so now let's go down to the five minute time frame where I basically identified all my continuation patterns and where I based all my entries so like I said it is very important for you guys to look at your, you know, your patterns, your continuation patterns and your candlestick patterns. Okay, so basically on this lower time frame, I identified, um, you know, double bottom pattern right over here. We had a W formation right over here. And if I move this to the side, you guys will see it clearly. Here's a W, right? So this market did break above this high that was created and it created a double bottom right over there and that was every reason for me to to start buying this market right because we had you know all these confirmations right and then guys this is where the magic happened after we had this double bottom i was patient enough to wait for you know the market to start forming um a little bit of a you know continuation pattern right so basically on this time frame, as you guys can see these candlesticks, we had a nice engulfing candlestick pattern. And I am gonna go to the one minute time frame. 
you know to show you how i caught these trades as you guys can see in the screenshots oh no okay guys we don't have that information we're just gonna go down to the three minute time frame and essentially on the one minute time frame i did identify a continuation pattern right i identified this continuation pattern and yet again we had another you know morning star pattern and after this morning star pattern was created this is where i based my first entries guys this is where i found my very first entries to the upside okay i put in my three positions right over there and as you guys can see the market started pushing up with no drawdown right so guys just look at that and i had my stop loss down here you know below this um previous low and guys it is important for you guys to go down to a lower time frame because you guys do want to avoid um you know huge drawdowns and yeah you guys want to be careful when you're entering these trades okay so we were in this market for a couple of hours let's go up to the 15 minute time frame um yeah essentially we caught these buys and i will show you guys how to pinpoint your targets you know when entering these trades so look look at these trades guys just look at you know this beautiful upward movement this beautiful impulsive move right so you guys did notice that we did catch re-entries and personally i wasn't really planning to um enter again you know because i don't like going in and out of the market too much and i just really like holding on to you know the initial positions that i have but yet again guys like the strategy says guys look for continuation patterns all right so this market started slowing down a bit and you know it started forming another continuation pattern as you guys can see over here we had another continuation pattern that formed over here and i took advantage of that you know i took advantage of that and i was like no guys we we really need to buy right now the momentum is moving to the upside so you guys i honestly you know looked at this candlestick formation right over here let me go down to the three minute time frame you know i noticed this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern and i was like yeah this is the moment where we have to enter more trades and i put in another three trades guys right over here you know but then if you guys wanted to be safer you were going to wait for the breakout and the retest over here okay but you know luckily enough i caught you know these trades right over here and essentially these are the trades that made us 19,000 rands right so if you guys do want more clarity on the strategy and how i caught these trades um just you know watch the previous lesson and that is a clearer breakdown you know so guys this is a progressive thing oh where's this chart now all right guys okay i just found the charts again and essentially you know we entered right over here and basically we just let this market go up and i think this is where we took our profits you know once we started seeing market rejecting over here i think this is where we took our profits and how do we take our profits right so if you go to your one hour time frame and you look at your levels guys and your major key zones where market rejects you guys will find your take profit points right for example on this high this was a good take profit that you could have taken you know because there is confluence right over here it is a key level you know what i mean um another level where you could have taken profit is right over here as you guys can see there's so much confluence and you guys can see as soon as the market got you it started um started rejecting and started playing around in these areas you know um another level where you could have taken profit you know if your psychology is good and you do have a good um trading mindset is this high right over here so okay yeah towards this high so the market essentially just came towards this high and yeah guys that was the impulsive move um on us 30 you know and yeah guys um it's a simple strategy it's a continuation strategy and if you guys do wanna you know learn the strategy step by step just hop onto the previous video 
and you guys will see what we are talking about all right traders so that is the end of the list and i hope you guys learned something from that if you guys are confused do not worry because last week i did post a video on how to apply a continuation based strategy all the way from the four hour chart until the entry right and before i actually leave i did make a promise in the beginning of the video and i did say i'm going to be showing you the withdrawals and how it got into my south african bank account so Right over here on my phone, I do have the screenshots of the money coming into my bank account. And the very first withdrawal that I received was 6,212 Rand, you know, from the market. And secondly, we received the last withdrawal of 13,800 Rand, you know. So guys, make sure that you do apply this on the market so that you guys can achieve consistent results and so that you guys can see more withdrawals because that's what it's all about right and i'd like to thank you one more time for 50,000 subscribers make sure that you subscribe and trade with the broker that i'm trading with because i'm going to be announcing how you guys can actually win money from the giveaway for 50,000 subscribers but from my side i'll see you in the next video cheers